All right, everybody. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. Again, I'm Coach Grant, Optimal Performance. Today's workout is going to be a timed workout. Like I said, it's going to be a little bit quicker than normal. Um, we're still going to go through our warm up here, going to take about five minutes on the warm up. And then the main circuit itself is going to take about, um, about 10 minutes total, and then we'll get a cool down from there. So let's go ahead and get started with our warm up today. First mobility exercise we're going to work on today is just going to be a standing knee hug. So, like we worked before, like we did yesterday, let's go ahead just alternating. Taking it nice and easy, we're gonna go about 30 seconds here, alternating with the knee hugs. Go ahead and keep it going. We've got some more people rolling in here. All right, keep it going with the knee hugs. From here, everybody, let's go ahead and roll it into our leg cradle neck. So this one, again, we're gonna have a little bit of rotation as we pull up, and then alternate to the opposite side from there. Same thing on these, we're gonna go about 30 seconds. Again, we're still getting warmed up here, so don't feel like you've gotta go real fast with it. We're just working on getting the hips and the legs loosened up here. Lincoln Payton, glad you guys could join us today. We're just going through our warm up here real quick before we get into the main workout. So leg cradles. All right, everybody, next up going into our quad stretch. So reaching back, grabbing onto that foot, and then just a little bit of stretch up. Just pausing about a second and then alternating over to the opposite side from there. Same thing on these, just nice and easy, 30 seconds. All right, everybody, next up, we're gonna work into a lunge rotation. So what I'm gonna have you guys do with these, we're gonna take a big step forward. We're gonna set that back knee on the ground. We're gonna go both hands inside of the foot, and then we're gonna rotate up towards that forward leg. Bring it back down, we're gonna step back, and then we'll alternate to the opposite side. So lunge now. Hand inside the foot, rotate, looking up to the ceiling, back down, and then back to that starting position. Let's go ahead and get about two to three each side. There we go, let's get one more each side, everybody. All right, next up we're gonna go back into that lunge, but this time we're gonna take it back into a hamstring stretch. So let's go back to that lunge out, setting that back knee down. This time let's go one hand on either side of that front foot, and then we're just gonna try to straighten that front leg while keeping it on the ground. Again, just hold about a second there and we'll come down, step it back, and we'll switch over to the opposite side. Same thing on these, everybody. Let's get about two to three each side. Let's get one more each side here. And last one. All right, next up, we're gonna go ahead into a sumo lateral split squat. So what I'm looking for on these, I'm gonna have you guys go feet wide into that sumo stance. Toes are gonna be slightly pointed out. Again, like the work before, hands are gonna be straight out in front. And we're just gonna go side to side. So back up to the midline, and then to the opposite side from there. Let's go about 30 seconds on the lateral. Stone, let's go ahead and widen your feet out just a little bit more. There we go. And as you guys go through, we want to make sure that our knee's not going too far outside of that toe. So as we go down, that knee should be right over the toe as we go through. There we go. And again, still getting loosened up, so don't feel like you have to go real fast with it. All right. Last one that we've got, everybody, is just going to be a split squat. I'm going to have you guys get five each side. So we're going to start out one knee down, one knee up. Again, hands up at the chest. We're just going to stand up and then take it back down to the ground. Standing up, back down from there. Let's go ahead and get five each side. Once you get five, switching over to the opposite side. Again, starting at the bottom, and then standing up to that top position. There we go. As you guys get finished up, go ahead and grab a quick drink of water. We're gonna roll it into our main circuit next. All 
All right, everybody. So again, I'm going to explain our main circuit on what we've got today. We've got 10 exercises. Each exercise is going to be 30 seconds long. So we're going to go 30 seconds and then we're going to rest for 30 seconds before we get to that next exercise. So like I said, as we start to get going, it's going to start to go pretty quick. So make sure your water bottle is close. Um, Peyton and Lincoln, I know you guys just rolled in. If you guys have your backpack close, go ahead and grab your backpack. We're going to need that for the last three exercises of the circuit. So make sure you guys have that close and I'll let you know when we're gonna use that, but that'll be the last three that we go through. So we're gonna get started here in about 15 seconds, everybody. First exercise that we've got today is just gonna be a squat hold. So I'm gonna have you guys go feet about shoulder width apart. We're gonna drop down to the bottom and we're gonna hold that squat position at the bottom. Try to get down as deep as you can and our hands are just gonna be straight in front of us. So let's go ahead and get started on that squat hold. Dropping down and we're just gonna hold that bottom position for 30 seconds, all right? Good, make sure we're keeping that chest up and really try to sink down as low as you can, all right? So we're gonna be right here. Think about this almost as more of a mobility exercise, just working on getting comfortable in the bottom here. We've got about 13 seconds. Make sure we're focusing on our breathing. Almost there, everybody, we've got five seconds to go. And let's go ahead and stand up. 30 seconds rest. Next exercise that we've got while you guys are resting is gonna be a lunge jump that we're gonna go through, all right? So with these, what I'm gonna have you guys do is we're gonna go feet apart, we're gonna lunge down, and then we're gonna jump, switching feet, and alternating to the opposite side from there, all right? So don't worry about getting started yet. We've got about 10 seconds before we get started on those. So during this, I just want you to try to keep moving throughout that whole 30 seconds, all right? So let's go ahead and get in position. Second exercise, ready, go. There we go, stay in place. And if you want to, you can shoot for height. So try to get up as high as you can with each one. And then think about landing softly as you go through. Good, 10 seconds everybody, 10 seconds. Three, two, and rest. Nice work, everybody. A little bit more active with that one. 30 seconds rest. Next up, we're gonna roll into push-ups, all right? So just like always with our push-ups, if you need to incline it up to a couch, feel free to do that. I just want you to try to get the full 30 seconds on those push-ups, all right? So let's take a breather. We've got about 10 seconds here. Five seconds, everybody. Let's go ahead and get ready. We've got 30 seconds on the push-ups. Ready, go. Now, if you guys need to take a breather, try to rest at the top of that push-up, but try not to let your knees touch. Ten seconds, everybody. And rest. Nice work, everybody. Let's go 30 seconds rest. Grab a quick drink of water if you need it. All right, everybody, while you guys are resting, next up we're gonna go air jump rope. All right, so again, just imagine like we're holding on to a jump rope. We're gonna go 30 seconds on the jump rope. So we got about five seconds here and then we'll get started. All right, let's go ahead and get ready and go. 30 seconds on the jump rope, everybody. Now feel free on these if you guys wanna go alternating steps with it or jump together, get creative with it here. 30 seconds. Halfway here. Ten to go. And rest. There we go. Nice work, everybody. We are four exercises down. We got six to go. Grab a quick drink. Thirty seconds rest. Next up, we're going to roll into our sumo squats. Sumo squats next. 15 seconds. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and get ready. Sumo squats. We're gonna go feet wide, again, toes pointed out, and we're just gonna drop straight down with it. So let's go ahead and get started here. 30 seconds on the sumo squats. 
There we go. Nice job, everybody. Again, we just want to try to move throughout the full 30 seconds here. Make sure we're keeping our chest up. And think about pushing your knees out as we drop down. Five seconds. And rest. Awesome work, everybody. 30 seconds rest. We are at the halfway point. We got five exercises down. We got five to go. Next exercise is gonna be our shoulder taps, all right? So again, if you've been here before, we did these a couple times earlier in the week and then last week, we're gonna be down in a push-up position. Feet are gonna be wide and we're just touching the opposite shoulder as we go through. Again, on these, it's just the hands moving. 30 seconds, ready, go. There we go, keep your eyes down to the ground and your hips steady. Now don't go real fast with it. Again, if you want to challenge yourself with these, I want you to go super slow. Make sure we're still breathing. Almost there. And rest. Nice job, everybody. That was our core exercise. Grab a quick drink. 30 seconds rest. Next up is gonna be a lateral pogo jump that we're gonna to get to. After the pogo jumps on this next circuit, we're gonna get into the backpack exercises from there. All right, everybody, we got about six seconds. So our lateral pogo jumps, we're just gonna go side to side. Think about them as skier jumps. Let's go ahead and get started, 30 seconds. There we go. Legs should stay straight and just think about balancing off your ankles as we go through. Keep it up here. Now these ones you can go fast, so feel free if you want to step it up a little bit on that speed. Five seconds. And rest. Nice job everybody, quick drink. Go ahead and grab your backpack for our next exercise here. All right, everybody, this next exercise, we're gonna take our backpack and I'm gonna have you put it on backwards, all right? So the pack is gonna be in front of our body. We've got about five seconds. We're gonna go through pack front squat. So with these, hold on to the top of the backpack and we're just gonna squat with it. Let's go ahead and get started here. We've got 30 seconds. For an added challenge, you can go ahead and put your arms out front. 30 seconds, everybody, try to keep moving. Good, five seconds. And rest. All right, let's go ahead and take that backpack off. Next up is gonna be our bent over rows. So I'm gonna have you guys go one hand on top, one hand on bottom. And again, with this exercise, we're gonna start out with it in front of us. Pushing our hips back, and then we're gonna go into our standing rows. But we got about 10 seconds before we get to that. So feel free if you wanna grab a quick drink. Five seconds, everybody. Ready, go. Again with these, your chest is gonna stay down, and it's just our arms that are moving. So think about scraping our elbows to our sides as we go through. 30 seconds here. We're about halfway. Eight seconds. And rest. All right, everybody, 30 seconds rest. We got one more exercise, and this is gonna be our seated pack rotations. So this last exercise, I'm gonna have you guys take a seat. Now we're gonna hold on to our backpack. We're just gonna hold either side of the top. With these, bring in your feet up. We're just gonna to touch the ground on each side as we go through, all right? We've got about five seconds, so let's go ahead and get ready. All right, last station, ready, go. Make sure we're looking at our backpack and our shoulders are rotating with it as we go through. 
30 seconds, everybody. This is our last station, and then we'll stretch it out. Ten seconds. And rest. Nice job, everybody. We're going to finish up with today with a cool down and a little bit of light stretching. So before we get into our stretching, we're just going to go through some deep breathing, help get that heart rate down. So I'm going to have you guys lie back. We're going to go hands on our belly button. From there, I want you to take a deep breath in through your nose. Think about breathing down into your hands. And then big exhale out. Let's go about 30 seconds on the deep breathing here. Think about a three second inhale. And then a three second exhale here. All right, everybody, our stretch that we're going to work on today is going to be a figure four stretch. So what I'm going to have you guys do with these, we're going to take our right foot from that line position, and we're going to put our right ankle over our left knee. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see that from there, but crossing over from here, we're going to grab outside the knee at the ankle, and then we're just going to hug that left knee up towards our chest here. Should feel a little bit of stretch in the right hip. And we're in a good position to keep on just focusing on that breathing as you go through. We'll go about 30 seconds on this right side and then we'll switch over to the left. All right, let's go ahead and relax down and we'll switch over to the opposite side. So this time, right leg is gonna stay down. We're gonna cross the left ankle over that right knee. Bracing outside that knee, and then we're gonna hug it up to our chest here. Same thing on this left side. Let's go about 30 seconds on the stretch. And relax. All right, everybody, that is all that we've got for today. So like I said, a little bit of a quicker workout today, just get the sweat going. I know it's Friday, so you guys wanna get out and get headed to the weekend, but I appreciate you guys coming in and joining me on class today. Have a good weekend, everybody, and we'll see you on Monday. See you guys.